the comfort of their own living rooms. Covering the latest and greatest news in ARC and the wider survival community. Presented by Ross Clark and JPG. The Survival Evolved Show! You're right, kids, it's Ross Clark and welcome back. It's the live Survival Evolved Show and when it's live, the camera freezes. And I'm joined again today by Mr. Jade PG. Give us a wave, mate. That's it. That's that's all we get. Just a wave. Oh, yeah. She just cut out then. I was like, what's going on? No. <laughs> it's not my fault this week. And we've got a special guest. We have. Who is he? Hello. Here he is. Here he is. You might know him. Speak? Uh, <laughs> knows a lot about law. Knows a lot about arc and law. The two together. Explorer notes. He's the person that... The place to go, the place to be, when you want to know anything about the Ark story, Mr. Neddy, the Noodle. You're cutting out a little bit, Raz. Yeah, you're cutting out. Am I? Yeah, like, that's, yeah, I thought, I thought it was maybe just... Oh, like, no. Oh, yes, no. Yes, the yes. himself, Neddy, the Noodle. If you're an Hello, everyone. Ark fan, if you're a new Ark fan, you must know who Neddy is, or you should know who Neddy is. Absolutely, check out his channel. We'll put some links to it during this chat. Uh, universally recognized as the law master by the creator of art himself, Mr. Jeremy Stieglitz. Oh, well, I've just realized I'm talking and my mic's maybe not on either. Hey, there he <laughs> is. There he is. Oh my god, I just did the like, most bestest intro for you, Neddy. Then because I thought Raz yeah. was broke, and then and then literally, I was just talking for two minutes. Right, okay. good. right. I'll do that again. I'm going to do it again, Go though. What did you say, Jade? Again. Go on. I said, because I thought you had gone wrong or long or somewhere, I said that what Neddy the Noodle is the law master, the ultimate law master. If you don't know about Ark Law, you should go and check him out. Even the creator of Ark, Jeremy Stieglitz, recognizes Neddy Absolutely. as the law master. Oh, yeah. And yeah, your our cameras, your camera, is it fixed now? I think it's, it is. I'm, I'm in the process. I'm multitasking. Oh, there I am. I'm back. Lovely. So yeah, Ned knows a lot about law. Oh, for crying out loud. Ned knows a lot about law. And I thought, you know, why not bring Ned on? Let's talk all about Ark, the animated TV series. And well, let's start. About... No, you cut out again, mate. Did I? Yeah. Am I back now? Yeah, yeah it's your Discord. It's your, your internet, mate. It's cutting out, or Discord's crying out loud. But yeah, we're going to talk about the anime. I'll carry you like always, Ross. Go we're going to talk about the animated TV show today and the lore, of course, of Arts of Iowa Evolved. And with the TV show, it should present a huge amount of new info about the story of Ark, which I have often, I have to say, Neddy, I've been a bit mean about the story of Ark, feeling like it's not as big as people make out. And that law isn't the same as story, but I'm hoping you're going to correct me today on that and teach me. Yeah, I'll certainly try for sure. So uh, yeah, got, I can get into it, but we got Raz back as well. Hopefully now, oh, there we go. I'm I'm coming. I'm back and forth. I'm back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah live. Link, what, what can you do? Like sometimes these things what happen. There's always one live actually my camera decides to freeze just it's a bizarre weird thing that happens like yeah there we go it's, yeah nelly tell us about you sir right so you, you when did you start playing arc what was it on was it on pc how did you hear about it and, and what drew you to the law explicitly yeah so i, I started uh, i got into arc in 2015 pretty much right when it came out i was a kid at the time and um the lore, uh, for anyone who's been playing for that long, the lore wasn't really a part of the game back then. They developed the story itself a couple years later. And, um, you know, when I was about maybe 16, I was like, wouldn't it be cool if we somehow showed what the notes looked like? Um, and I had this idea in my head, but I, I, I was like, oh, I could never get a voice actor to do that or anything. Um, and so eventually, a couple years after that, I um, had the idea and took it a little bit further and, and we started making the survival stories which essentially tell the story of the game and you've been doing it ever since and you've had some great people on tell us go on give us the panathion of art greats that have appeared so far in in your series yeah so um for sort of the characters themselves we've covered helena rockwell nerva may yin um the people who have voiced them yanni harris elliot crossley uh, rob sharp 
Um, let's see who else. Uh, Meikunishi. Lots of tons of voiceover talent um, across a couple different places I've looked. And uh, it was such a pleasure working with those people and trying to really bring the, the story to life in sort of recreating the notes in the game engine, basically. Yeah. That sounds good. It does sound good. So like I my so my big complaint, my big complaint is I always found that you come across some of these law notes and they're great. And I've got the book behind me. I've got the special edition book somewhere floating about. Um there it is, I'll grab it. Uh just to mess up positioning off the camera. Um is that the dossier? <laughs> yeah, it is. And I love it. It's the dino dossier. Obviously, it isn't all of the um the, the things, but wouldn't it be great if there was a book that had all the dossiers in it? That you like all the explorers? Like that yeah. would that would be, that be amazing a if Bible. That, all that law like in physical form. Or do you reckon that digital? would be pretty good? That'd be neat. I, I think. Um, I mean, you know, if they sort of decided to put out more of those kinds of like physical products, that would be neat. But um, it would be definitely something of similar length to, to the dossier book because it's a similar number of essentially pages about 120 explorer notes compared to the 104 dossiers yeah um, yeah it'd be pretty enough. massive yeah. but yeah so i always yeah. found that finding law i used to say it law isn't story just having a bit of written paper everywhere how does that really equate to story because arc doesn't really oh. have many cut scenes other than the final one which no. only like two percent of the people have ever seen yeah. legit so give me give me your idea. Where do we get the story from? Like, how do you build it from the law? So I think that the reason people don't even a lot of the time people don't even realize Ark has a story is because you have to take the lore, uh, take these scraps of information in order in order to actually build the story from it and to understand it. And a lot of the time, uh, people who play well, just gamers, I think for the most part, they want to play the game. They don't want to read a bunch of scraps of yeah. paper for hours on end. Um, and so for you know sort of the idea of bringing all these scraps of paper together interpreting them and trying to create a cohesive story from it that is something that takes a lot of work and over the course of the game uh the game sort of since it's been out um not a lot of people have put all that together and gotten out uh, in in the same way that some people on youtube have um with people who voiced over the notes um also the survival stories things like that i'm certainly not the only one who's done that um, yeah but, yeah but sure. certainly the story exists sort of only once you've interpreted and brought all of these little pieces together mm. and I'm, go on ross but let's wind it back right and consider that the, these tiny brown boxes that you know originated on the island have became what they are today have progressed from map to map and you know brought along the lines of big voice actors like for when Genesis 2 rolled out to really deepen the story to carry through to well, yeah a, an animated TV series TV show yeah which is crazy yeah that uh really you know it started it was that crazy big reveal with uh Genesis 2 I think in late uh 2020 I think it was yeah um you know, with uh, David Tennant, I think that was the first main... I mean, they had HLNA voiced by Amber Lee Connors. Um, but that was a just a huge thing. Everyone is freaking out about David Tennant. Yeah, absolutely. And from there, I think, you know, that was the catalyst for them to start saying, all right, well, full, full, you know, full speed ahead, get everyone, get tons of big names in. And, you know, we don't know what got them to sort of begin to take the story more seriously yeah. to where they wanted to have it voiced, but whatever it was, they did it and uh, and it's uh, leading to something pretty huge. Well, actually, when you think about it, like the we, not especially other people in game sphere, they don't give some of the survival genre enough props. Like 35 million people have now played Ark on console it's alone and PC, and PC. And that is huge amount. That that that's more than Daisy and Rust put together. Um, that's more than you know most big AAA games. The Last of Us has only got ten million people playing as the sequel, Last of Us Two. Yeah. Ghost of Tsushima has only just reached ten million. So you think about that, and they're going to be making movies out of them. That's why I bring them two up explicitly. Ghost of Tsushima, I've heard they're making a movie on or a TV yeah. show, and they're going to be making a TV show. Obviously, The Last of Us that's about to come out. 
So you oh. think, well, it's a no-brainer. If you're making recognised IP about something where it's kind of very specific, like them stories are told through games. Mm -hmm. You've got so much CGI and cutscenes. It feels like redundant making a TV show. But with a game like Ark, you can take it almost anywhere. Absolutely, with a story, yeah. Couldn't you? Yeah. Well, you could, but it seems they're going to try and retread the story of the island but it's We're not going over the law pieces you cut out again Roz. i'm just mind reading thank you, you. Now. yeah uh, mind reading you but it's not going to be quite canon is it well they i said. don't think so they, um, they've said yeah, yeah it's not gonna be strictly canon i think they've mentioned that it's essentially the animated series is a almost like a different telling of the story that'll roughly follow the same kind of thing from the notes yeah. but they're making a few changes and yeah. That's as far as what I know. I, I guess you can do that when the, the notes, when the story does come just from these little pages originally. You know, it isn't mm -hmm. like we've seen lots of physical representations of these characters or, you know, we've read about their relationships with each other a little bit. But, you know, that just like the Bible uh, and other books of <laughs> popular uh, denunciation have gone through changes and we don't really know what happened in the original stages. I guess that would be the best way to view something like the animated TV show. Or, or the book, or whatever way you want to look. They're, they're both going to get to the same beats, but they are going to tell it a bit different. There are definitely details. It's not a super vague story. There are definitely a lot of details across the Explorer notes, and they're, they are changing a couple of those details, but for the most part, I think you're right. Like, you know, they are sort of just hitting these, these story beats and generally, I think, following the same general story. Um, but... Either way, yeah. I mean, that's a pretty good analogy. The Bible, like, <laughs> it's pretty spot yeah. on. We don't know what it looked like. We just have to rely on these, like, pages. So. Yeah, because the Ark story, I mean, so tell us about the Ark history. Like, it, it, it does go back, like, a thousand years, no? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ark's story is told over, like, eons, essentially. And, and the Phenomenal. dates themselves are left deliberately vague. Uh, right. And so you've got two separate storylines, one with the Arcs and planet Earth and the other with the Genesis colony ship going over to Arat, which is the new planet in Arc 2. Yeah. And so these two storylines make up the story of Arc and they connect in some ways. But for the most part, uh, there's just massive gaps of time in between the Arc stories across characters. And it's that's why it's something I, I like so much is it's, it's just such a vast story. Absolutely. It, it really is woven deep and it takes someone to create a, an entire channel <laughs> to explain how deep that rabbit hole goes with with the arc story yeah was your channel always based on that you know didn't you just used to do like regular gameplay when you first started yeah no i started out just making silly little guides and um i mean they were fun to me you know making sort of put a lot of effort into camera work and that was what drove me into the survival stories because i started trying to get some cool shots in game in spectator and yeah because yeah, I, like, I remember you man i remember back in the day seeing a few of your videos pop up and stuff and then obviously yeah you've branched yeah. out into something which is really great i love it when i see a creator not do what everyone else is doing yeah and they're really yeah. owning something their own and that's what you've done with, with, with your channel and the survival series coincidentally that's how me and eddie met um because I, I yeah. had an idea of doing something similar and saw that Ned had done that and just got, kind of got in touch. To be honest, like what Ned's doing now, like wipes the floor with my ideas. Um, but yeah, that's 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 how we originally met. Yeah. Um, it is, it, it's, day, and you have, you've established yourself as that go-to guy, which is great. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I will say, Anthomnia, I don't know if you guys know him. Yeah. He was a big inspiration for me. I, I never thought I would reach his level or, like, sort of, you know, be that lore guy. Didn't really, like, plan on that happening. But I looked up to him a lot. Kona Voice, he um he also he voiced the some of the Helena notes and stuff. So that was another inspiration. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, that's cool. I know Anthomia very well, very well. Um, so that's great. Like... Yeah, it's just good. It's like there is, you have got to have something else in a game like Ark. It can't just be playing in a freaking dinosaur every episode, every day or yeah. making a guide or doing bullshit clickbait news. Uh, <laughs> Ross. Uh, it's, you know, about... it's got it's got to be something a bit more meat to it. Yeah. And I love games that have got that. They've got that community that is doing some more yeah um, what, sort of stuff going on. What I love that Ned's doing now is these. Um, 
these little mini stories of, of dinosaurs and voiced by you know various voice actors and then and then roping in numerous content creators to voice said creatures it's a mm. guest guest star and that it seems to be doing well yeah that's been really fun uh we haven't made one in a little while but uh just having these sort of old school machinima type skits in 2022 when nobody seems to make those anymore it's been a lot of fun for sure especially getting like mr miola in on it um, <laughs> that's awesome and you yourself uh, we had uh, natural causes um yeah yeah awesome yeah so animated tv series it's a thing it's happening when it's happening we don't know yet <laughs> where it's happening we don't know yet but it's happening and it's it's a seriously big deal um the team working behind it lex and otis are you know a, a really well established team from the same sounds of it uh they, they seem to be experienced coming from loads of different uh, animations in the past um and some seem to be related to the dark knight comics uh they did put out something last year or was it the year before called uh trez or trey on, on netflix which is really well made i don't know if you've watched that uh, but if you haven't and you want to kind of get an idea of what the animated TV series for uh, Ark is going to look like star wise, this is something to definitely watch. It, it it's looks called Trey, was it? Yeah, Trey or Trey. Trey. Yeah, it's spelled T R E S E. Uh, and it's currently on Netflix. You can go and watch that now. And it's, it's really well done. It's really well made. Quite enjoyed watching it. Mm. Um, Kyle Ken Ross. Yeah. Um, the other one I've seen is uh, Primal. I think they're made by like. Either the same people that made I'm um, terrible with adult animation, uh, Samurai Afro Man, Amurai Safro, no Amurai Safro, Afro uh, Samurai, yeah, Afro Samurai, Amurai <laughs> Safro. Who does that? Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I think it was them, or maybe it's Rooster Teeth. But someone's making something called Primal, and it's basically looks like the dude from Conan fighting dinosaurs. Oh yeah, yeah, I've yeah. seen that. I haven't yeah, watched I've, I've it, never watched. I don't that. Know no, other. No. I have to say, I, I love animation, and I, I kept on watching animated shows until well into my like late teens. I didn't care, you know. I'd, I'd watch anything as a kid. Oh, Afro Samurai was great. I didn't watch that lot though. I, I was that. a bit too old for that. But you know, my my I guess last animated stuff. I was never a dweeb. I was never into anime and stuff. Um, so yeah, or manga. Not too much manga. Maybe a little bit, but not too much. So yeah, I remember things like the, the animated series of Jackie Chan. Like really offbeat ones that came towards the end of like me growing up that yeah. I used to sit back and watch as well. And then of course yeah. you've got things like, you know, G.I. Joe and Defenders of the Earth and all that stuff. So do you think Ark's animated show is gonna make a bigger impact as what we had as kids? That's a really good question. Mm. Thinking about sort of how it's going to appeal to the like younger generation now mm. and or just question. anyone really. Um I wish I could tell you, man, but I think what what I have been thinking about is arc story in general, I think, is is almost as retellable as something like Star Wars. And you can continue to build on it um, in a similar way. I mean, they're still building on the Star Wars story all the time, right? Um, mm -hmm. And so I think you can, there's so much potential here, um, even with the fact that we know the story so well with the game or with some people do. Um, like Jay was saying, it is very somewhat vague at some points, and so it can change, and they could tell some really new things as yeah. well with the animated series, so but it has so a lot of potential. The animated series is kind of set, though, within like uh, a mixing point of a lot of the main characters. We, you know, we've all heard of Mei Ling, Cena in the, the patch notes, Rockwell, Edmund Rockwell. Like, I, even I do, and I, I'm really bad. I am definitely one of them dudes. I like story, I do like lore. But in ARC, I never bothered going to get all the Explorer notes. I never played official, so it was never important to me. You know, I was disappointed when they put the dinosaur ones in randomly. I liked it when I got them when I tamed the creatures. But yeah, there are a lot of crossovers, yeah. though. They do encounter each other quite a bit in the, the lore, so we expect that in the animated show, obviously. For sure. Yeah, yeah I think there's going to be even more involvement there. Uh, it's going to be so interesting to see how these different tribes interact. And of course... Um, Santiago in his tech suit. We don't know what's going to be going on there. There's the potential to have multiple storylines happening at once and even the first season. Maybe one on Aberration, one on the island. That oh. I would think that because Santiago's holding a bullet. Yeah, so yeah. That's that that's that would actually make yeah. sense because they 
Um, yeah, they, I guess, take place around the same time. That's so know. they do encounter each other and they do fight against each other quite regularly as well because it is a, still about being like the ultimate yeah. survivor, isn't it? Yeah. Some character for the Gerard so, Butler's so, character in Nerva, mm. he, he's intense. But yeah. that's you know to include the uh, aberration uh, plot in the first season. That's a lot. I think they've already said there's like the uh, the episode um, amounts, isn't it? Like twenty. Tw uh, I feel like I'm guessing. 20, that. Yeah, it was a lot. It, yeah, it was quite a lot actually. You're right. It's not twelve or thirteen. It is like a big amount. Yeah. That's that's a big commitment for for as you said you've got to be sure it's going to be doing well or you've got to make sure you've got a good company making it because mm -hmm. twenty four episodes of an animated TV show if that doesn't take off that's that's a lot of money gone down the drain. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I, they're going to have to really tell this well, and and they can't just rely on having big names. This is going to have to be something really good. And unless Wait, we... my mic's not wrong, sorry, I will not have that fuel the builder. <laughs> my mic is perfect, thank you. It's rather it's today. I'm having, problem. I'm, I'm having some issues. Uh, <laughs> and I, also, I no, you know what? While I'm on my rant, get get the oh, the rants out. The, the rants rant go off. One. Get the noise. The rants go. Woo, woo. Where's the likes, people? Seventy-five likes. We've got one hundred and eighty-four oh, watching. Get your yeah. fingers, your thumbs, or whatever you touch things with. Smash that, that, like, button. that like button. Exactly. Come on, help Raz. Just get for Ned. Big achievements go in. Let's show Let's some it. love for Neddy the Noodle. Big. Hit that like button. God damn now. <laughs> big likes from my camera. <laughs> yeah. It's crying out loud. Each like uh, you get gets one more pound towards Raz getting a decent camera. <laughs> If, if we hit it's 100 so, likes, his camera might start working again. It might yeah. do. It's <laughs> genuine. It's, it's keeping an eye on things. But yeah, lest we forget, Wildcard have fully funded this. They, yeah, they've done it all. Right. So as far as we know, they've done, they haven't got like, outside help from a Netflix or an Amazon or anything else. That's what, the, that's what was said. So what I read is that they, um, they, they want to make sure that they have a lot of creative freedom so they're not taking money from like another large group. yeah um but raz might be able to explain it better well yeah that this was all in that interview with uh doug kennedy uh last year right. and yeah he he mentioned that yeah it was all funded by the team i think the reason being is because well yeah as, as ned just mentioned they wanted full creativity not to for the story to be you know pressured and changed by whatever investors but i think as a ploy to push to whatever platform with a deal that if it succeeds you will fund our live action movies that Doug seems to want to do yeah yeah I was, uh, I, I'm just like the idea of yeah. live action arc is just like you said with the show it, there's so much potential it's, it's just giving like not that arc stories like Star Wars but it has the same kind of a level of just this could be pretty huge yeah, because you could, you could, really could, like the arcs all different, and that's one of the best things. Like we we know, well, we don't actually know that. They know they have the experiments, right? Some of the arcs yeah. were done or treated in certain ways to really test it. So being able to just jump and even not have to follow the same characters through each season or through each yeah. TV show would be well, amazing. Or if they travel from arc to arc, like Ascension, and and seeing like a small group that managed to survive through one season then have to deal with all these tribulations of the next season. It's like a perfect recipe for an ongoing series. Well, yeah, it's kind of like the Fallout vaults. That's what I would sort of make it analogous to, if anyone's familiar with Fallout, how they're all different experiments. A lot of potential for just all kinds of different arc environments. You could have different characters on, tell side stories. It's Well, the, um, the, the MCU uh, uh, spin-off that they made, uh, what was it called now? The, the alter alternative stories that they made. Um, oh, um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, yeah, what if? That's it, what if? I think that's a good example of what it might look like, which they pulled off well. Yeah, yeah, Ross, yeah. that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't seen it like <laughs> that's it. too much. You cut out again. No, it's, I think because the yeah. what if is, is definitely a play on what you know. Mm -hmm. And because so much of the story of Ark is just these little law notes it's not you can do more of it like it subverts what if on, on what you know about your heroes and villains yeah but but with arc you just got an opportunity to just bring yeah new stories in and, and new ways in creation but you don't yeah you don't still have to have the same tropes to stuff like you do with marvel you don't have to have them same origins 
as it were, because we could, we might see a TV show and it might have nothing to do with Mailing or Big Vin Diesel as Santiago or anyone. It might be another set of survivors on another arc that are transcended, you know, depending on how far you take it. Like, where as the law go with Genesis and one and two? Because who is the savior of, I know it's us, but like who, who, who brings that about really in terms of law? Is there any law with characters in Gen one and Gen two? Oh yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, if you're asking, sort of. Uh, I mean Santiago, asking... but like, like who else is there? Who could potentially show up if they did do a movie set on the rat or or the travels of Gen One and Two? Yeah, so there's there's two main characters there, or a couple. Uh, Nita is a character on the Genesis Two ship who can have some significance. Um, we originally theorized uh, that the girl in the Arc Two trailer was Nita, or sort of a, a clone of her. Um, and then there's Gabriel, but those are sort of uh, not that important. Genesis 1 is is more about the simulation than the characters, and it's mostly just robot HLNA talking about random religions. Yeah, yeah. I, to be fair, you know what? And I said Gen 1, Gen 2. I actually meant Extinction. Because Extinction oh. feels like the culmination of stuff. Like, that is the... You know, you've got the backstory of, of, of what happened to planet Earth and they were to leave. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, it, it, do you think there could be more more way to expand on that? Or are we done with Earth now? We probably won't see that retold bar what we're going to see in the animated show. So Extinction is the end of the legacy story. So the stories that sort of, like I was saying, is broken up into two, the arcs and sort of the ship. Um but really, there is the possibility we could see some kind of something to do with Earth, Earth still. The Arcs came down and did some stuff. We don't know what mm -hmm. the fate of Earth was. Yeah. It could have been healed. It could have been destroyed by something else. The way it all bloomed that, over did make me laugh in the last couple of That was days. so weird, man. It, like, it was corny cool as one. hell. It was corny cool <laughs> yeah. as hell. But, you know, you understand why. They just I feel like they did want to bookend it and go, yep, yeah, no, we promise. Everything's yeah. okay. There is no like yeah. extra claw coming out of Rockwell's dick or anything, escaping <laughs> the rubble or anything else like that. It is happening. Yeah. But Rockwell has lived on. He has. He's he went well, on to the thing. No, it's Gen yeah, Two. Yeah, the ending of Extinction has. If you beat the King Titan Alpha, you can see Rockwell's uh, aberration. He makes sounds, yeah. and so it's a little teaser. Uh, so, but it was. It surely should have been the end. I mean, yeah. not that I don't like the other the part of the story, but it was a good place to end it, definitely. And I like that. Um, and that's the only time they've done that is had a, a special ending if if you completed it on a certain difficulty. Is that it is, isn't it? I think that is correct. Yeah. Until they were, it, we don't know what they're doing with the uh, Scorched Earth Ascension and the other uh, new cutscenes. That? So that's that. That's something to talk about. Yeah. How excited yeah. are you to see a finally a proper ending to Scorched? Man, I really hope they don't retcon what we made, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but I'm really excited to see it. Uh, we're going to be making a, oh, don't want to spoil anything, comprehensive lore project um, that'll be finished right before Arc 2 comes out, so we'll include those cutscenes in it, and uh, that's exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely eager to see those. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I, me yeah, I remember absolutely. being bitterly disappointed that there wasn't a cutscene. Um, or, or something more substantial. No, actually, I'm lying. It weren't. It was. It was only after seeing the aberration cutscene, realizing, oh shit, they've done a cutscene for the DLC. Where's the cutscene yeah. for Scorch? That's when I got mad. Yeah, it, we've been asking for it for so long, and then and then seven, eight, almost eight years later, eventually soon to be eight years, they'll be like, they're just like, yeah, here's Scorched Earth Ascension, <laughs> the end of our it's game. Bad. Like so late in the game, it's it's so yeah, baffling. It's just a strange choice. It yeah. is. It is. I mean, yeah, that is a weird one. I, I don't think I'd be able to get over that. But um, I can't wait though. I'm oh, going to be oh, check, checking it out. I'll, oh, we're I'll there, be mate. There. I'll be fighting everyone to get the Ascension trailer up first because <laughs> uh, you oh, know yeah. why not. Oh yeah. Um, hey. Oh yeah. Not oh yeah, boys. <laughs> Let's hope <laughs> you're winning that cuts out, Raz. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, when spells. the island when the island uh, ascension cutscene came out i i got up as early as i could i would jump down that so fast and up from the depths beat me to it he Whoa. was the first one to upload the ending and then i was second but he was just riding around on a t-rex and 
Mine was better, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Shots yeah. fired! Who's got the most? Damn. I remember. There we go. For a while, the ending, I I did some horrendous video. I'd been up all night as well. And I did the Ascension Cave legit almost. Then I started cheating. And by the time I got to the end, I ended up cheating through the boss fight just to show the last bit. And it took like 30 minutes. It was a long ass video. And that video is still like number six, like 850,000 views. And then Syntax come rolling along, and it was me and him for a while, and then he overshot me. I was just like, yeah, you bastards, <laughs> you bastards. Uh, but yeah, those were good times. So let's talk about one thing. The, the roster of actors oh. working on this. Oh, last me again. No, no, I've heard you. The roster of actors. Yeah. yeah In my opinion, they No, I lost you there, though. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I, I lost you there as In, well. in my opinion... There has been no lineup, like star studied lineup such as this, for anything that I can think that. There's a serious list of actors working on this. Well, I mean, to be put, put it into perspective, do you know, like you asked it and no, we didn't really answer it. You know why they did it, because they were all out of work two years ago. Yeah. And it seemed like a great idea just to sign a contract and do a few voiceovers uh, because of COVID. Like, no one was working. But you could still work at home doing animated. You could still go just to the studio and work on your own yeah, and follow procedures. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like a no-brainer. That's why I think we're actually going to see even more people appearing in animated TV shows over the next year and a half. Because it will be the backlog that have been made and recorded all throughout that time. Yeah, absolutely. Well, here's the thing then. Who is your favourite actor involved and why? Go on, Eddie. Uh, I would have to say, um, oh man, uh, well, of course, David Tennant, um, hey. who else, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's just amazing. I, I think a lot of people will say that. Um, the others are really great too. I just don't know them uh, as well. I'm somewhat familiar with Gerard Butler, Madeline Madden. I only, uh, found out about her once they brought her in for Ark Survival Evolved. Um, so... Yeah, I've only watched Definitely her recently haven't. in the Wheel of Time and knew nothing about her. Um, and then um, I see Ragnar, I just re realised Ragnar Ragnar's is in it. Yeah, it was in and Vikings, that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I didn't realise that either. Yeah. I've only just, because I was joking about that, it's got to be the most Swedish name ever, Ragnar Ragnar's. <laughs> like, that is so stereotypical. She's probably not from Sweden, it's Norway, but you know, they're all the same. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you get the idea. Like, it's going to be, it is going to be big. Yeah, David Tennant's big. Carl Urban, yeah, he's big now. Mate. I would say before oh, the boys yeah. came out, yeah. though, like he hadn't done like well, ever he's since a few cult classic, Star cult classic films like Dread and uh, a few a, stuff like that. He was in Star Trek. Uh, Star Trek, yeah. He was in, he was he was in was... Thor Ragnarok. Uh, what, the guy yeah, in that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, the boys definitely propelled him to that level of stardom. But even the character that he's playing, the Bob. I, I oh. can't wait to see how they illustrate that. I'm really hoping they do like a, um, like a South Park sort of thing, like, you know, they kill Kenny, but instead it's the bub in every episode. <laughs> like, <laughs> that would be great. He's, <laughs> be he's definitely going to have his Aussie accent or New Zealand accent for sure. Like, it just feels right to have some stupid bob from Australia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. G'day, mate. <laughs> Truth. That's a dinosaur. I better get off the beach. Oh, no, mate. Mate, the beach is the safest part. Uh, yeah, I could see it. That was my terrible Australian accent, by the way. For sure. Yeah. Uh, if he doesn't have an Australian accent, somewhere. I will riot. He yeah, if, if he's British, I think we'll have problems. I he think he, he was in Lord of the Rings. He was, yeah. It's more, yeah. It's very much, oh. it's the Cockney. It's the Cockney's hard to get right. It's that London Cockney accent. It's incredibly hard to get uh, right. That's why he's gone a bit screwy for Oh, yeah. But he's not that bad. I don't think he's the worst. I've definitely heard... Definitely heard worse. Yeah, he doesn't do a bad job. He's, he's heavily yeah, reliant um, on the uh, the lovely C word. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm really excited for him. He's 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 awesome. But like, oh, of course, Russell Crowe for fuck's sake. That's yeah, got to be. and Vin that's, Diesel. That's a, as much as I don't like the bald headed gimp, but you know he is pretty much big. One of the biggest stars big still league. going around. Gerard yeah, Butler. Yeah. Um, Jeffrey Wright. Yeah. Yeah. Jeffrey Wright. Uh, Malcolm McDowell, who played in Clockwork Orange. Um, yeah, you know, uh, and the limey. There you go. That's a cult yeah. classic. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's loads there. Jeffrey Wright as well. He's yeah, Jeffrey like Wright, the, the Barbosa in the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. The the what's he called? The the or is that the, Jeffrey Rush? No, Jeffrey Wright. No, I don't know. Maybe that's wrong. Who's Jeffrey Rush and Jeffrey Wright? 
Some of these names are not as. It's Jeffrey name. Wright who's yeah. in who's in it. Um, We're talking to Neddy here, who's only uh, just about twenty-one here. He ain't got a Danny. You know, yeah, like you got a are. Yeah, I'm twenty. So. <laughs> my one of my favourites as well is the guy who pl who's, who plays the pirate in Dodgeball. He's playing a pirate in Ark, the animated TV series. Oh, now, oh God! Now you're setting real, real big boomer alerts, Raz. Me and you going. <laughs> oh yeah, back in the day, ten back, years ago, back in the movie. day. <laughs> but of course, that's what you get with voices. You get great actors. You don't need to worry if you're recognising their faces because it's no. their voices that carry it. No, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, I think there is, you know, definitely a distinction between acting ability in in on screen and yeah. and with your voice. Um, but I'm pretty confident a lot of these people can pull this off. I just hope uh, Vin Diesel doesn't just grunt the whole time and then say, <laughs> "Yeah, <"Hey>, respond again." <laughs> oh man, come on! But as well as the voices, we've got, we've got the music redone, recomposed yeah. by Gareth Coker, creating whole new tracks for for this as well on top. And you know, you can't argue with Gareth Coker. To have his musical scores throughout is is gonna help sell it without a doubt. What if it's um what if it's a dubstep versions though? Are you gonna <laughs> a dubstep arc dubstep remix? Arc. <laughs> yeah. It won't happen, but you never know. Wow. Yeah. I will say um the the uh, sort of animated tracks that Jeremy has released so far have sounded amazing and yeah. they're really meant to be ambient very much sort of more emotional sometimes to really be themes for each of the characters which is and yeah. it um if you guys aren't familiar go and sort of look up old uh removed tracks from the game because they're actually kind of similar gareth went and redid a bunch of the older tracks in the game itself to be less uh, sort of shortened they were shortened and they were sort of polished up these right. older tracks sounded a lot like the animated series ones with the sort of ambient tones Nice, nice. That's good to know. Cool. I didn't, didn't know that. We're planning, we're going to try and do episode reviews, aren't we, Roz? Absolutely. 100%. With, if with, it fits in nicely, we might do it on this show or we'll just do it on its own or separate. With a static camera. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, you will. <laughs> wait, wait. 193 people watching, only 120 likes. Christ almighty. Hey. Come on now. Uh, let's get to 150 <laughs> for Raz. Slap that like button for Raz. Each like Talking means big stuff. Raz gets more air conditioning in his office. I do. I am, I am dripping. Yeah. <laughs> my yeah, my T-shirt. Immediately is... more likes. It just evaporates the sweat. <laughs> he set up, it's actually really creative how he set that up. Oh, 100%. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah the animated show does look like it's got that kind of, I would say, that, that anime feel to it. You know, oh, yeah. so, uh, maybe not as much, but yeah. like it, it's got its own style. It has got a, a unique it's, a style. It's really made a return, I think, in, in recent times, uh, and uh, resonating with uh, older audiences, especially as well. Like think of um, like He Man. Uh, I don't know if you watched that, the Masters of the Universe um, remake. Yeah, the new one, the remake. Oh, yeah, yeah, really yeah, yeah. Well that's made. Good. Yeah, me and the missus yeah. watched that. Yeah, 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 for sure. So, um, Neddy's like, no, no I'm not, even, myself, I'm not yeah. even gonna watch the He Man one at all. No, <laughs> no, but yeah, like that's it. That is that is that is what's going on. Um, it is good. I just, I kind of wonder what they're gonna, how they're gonna tie it into the, the new game though. Is it gonna be a case if they do make a movie? As, moving on to the movies a little bit now. If they yeah. do, if if this happens, that's what Doug said. If you don't know, Which... Doug said in an interview, we're getting into TV, we're getting into movies, we're getting into NFT. But... Lest we uh, forget, he didn't just say that, he didn't just say one movie. He, no, said, he said three, three. <laughs> That's yeah. the so, one. Now, yeah. I can only think it's a vehicle for Big Vin, though. Like, I, I feel like it's gonna have Vin Diesel in it, and it won't focus. It will be him on a rat, or him going through Genesis, yeah, uh, or Cyber Sleep, whatever. Uh, you know, or a continued event. It's got. I feel like it should tie into the game because. As much as I'd like it not to, to focus on different areas of the Ark universe, you know, he's the he doesn't become creator of convergence media or whatever the hell just to be a little character in the the TV the animated TV yeah. show or or even yeah. the game like that's that he wants his fingers in all the pies there. Two um, sort of a, one thing that may end up happening, uh, not to change too much, 
the animated series with the game, you were saying sort of what we might see in Arc 2. In the ending cutscene for Gen 2, you can see a little graphic with uh, Rockwell from the animated show on the screen in the ship as you're like falling to the place. So that's really weird. Someone posed the idea that they might try and sort of have the animated series just fill in for the entire everything that happened before the story of Arc 2 in the game itself. Um, right. So it may be just that the animated show is canonically in Arc 2, the precursor, everything that happened before Arc 2 happens. That would retcon all of Arc 1, essentially. But wow. that's one route they might go. Oh, would they do that, though? I, I feel like, yeah, like you said, you're right, they might have said they're going to change some stuff, but that would that would be that would still be big. i guess it doesn't no people not that many people would be like what's up with that or do you yeah. think it, like when you was, you get views on your channel and stuff so how many how passionate are the art community about story the it's it's definitely a smaller crowd most of the art community isn't i can say for the most part is is mostly not concerned with the story uh, we have a pretty small crowd of people that like it but they are very vocal um and i think there's a chance that maybe after the animated show comes out, people might watch the survival stories every now and then and see inconsistencies. And, and I don't know what they do then, but um, it's something. Yeah. It's, it's I'm really eager to really see how this all plays out. Um, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's going to be how good. Far they well, change it. the big question I'm back again. The big question is when and where? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that is the question on everybody's lips. They So far, they've said it's still going to be this year, uh, 2022. But we've heard nothing since. Jeremy did say something about a month ago saying, don't worry, news is coming soon. Is coming, and there was no news at all. But there was no, There was none, no. So, yeah. I don't yeah, think we've got Comic-Con San Diego. San Diego Comic-Con. That's happening tomorrow. Right. Uh, tomorrow to the 24th. So that does cover, obviously, it is a Comic-Con first. So originally it started out covering comics and, and stuff. But now it's obviously Marvel, it's everything. It's fan, nerdum, basically. Fan nerdum or nerd fandom. Um, so gaming announcements as well. Grounded are going to be there tomorrow or, or nearby. And there will be other games. It's not as big as a game announcement as some of the others. But it is a good spot to talk about your animated TV shows for sure. Um, there's a couple other festivals as well, which I found out talking about grounded that are happening this year as well and that's where the big tv shows get and like they've got their own special you know sort of events that go on yeah. so yeah uh it is strange how they've not announced plans like i said could it be they're struggling to get someone to buy it is netflix who got rid of their animated department maybe this would be the best approach for them if they've just got rid of their own in-house animated well, they can just buy all the already made Ark Survival Evolved animated shows. Possibly. But then they did have that show. Well, it was only a month uh, back where, yeah, it wasn't there. It wasn't in the roster of um, animation. Yeah, that, the stuff. True, true. Yeah. Is, and yeah, I guess so. That's the thing. I mean, the other outside bet is that Ark Wildcard have got very friendly with Xbox. And we know that they're not going to put Ark 2 as exclusive anymore or, or I do plan to release it on PlayStation as well in the future. Yeah. But do you think there right. could be a chance Microsoft buy it? And then there's rumors about Microsoft getting cozy to Netflix. Yeah. Possibility. I've you know, that news. could be something yeah. where they take it all over and then it's all mm. just part of the same pot. Like could it be something Microsoft want to have on their their future shows? But that would all take too much time though. So it can't be that. It can't. It's got to be something like well, Paramount Plus or a, they're still fairly was... young and there was HBO, as, maybe. Yeah, yeah, HBO, yeah. But then HBO, do they really cater to kids? I'm, I haven't well, got HBO like in the UK. That's this all show done isn't going to really time. cater to kids. It, it's going to be pretty violent, but I know what you mean with cartoony. It was, yeah. it was rumoured already to be HBO. There was a site that had it, had it listed. I think it still, ex still exists. Uh, but there's no other source that's mentioning that in the slide. It's just this one website. That says HBO. Yeah. So. There's me going on about kids show as she stabs an arrow through the dude's throat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, one thing I, I am curious to know about um, to sidetrack sort of what you're just mentioning conventions. Mm. Um, PAX West. I think I mentioned it to Raz 
they may share something. I mean, it is in yeah. Seattle, I'm pretty sure, and that's where Wildcard are. It's like their main headquarters, I think. So could think- hear something then. Uh, they're going to yeah. show off the Switch version then, I believe, with um, their company or their uh, partner. What's the partner? Uh, Grove Street Games. I think them, yeah, the people working on the Switch for yeah. Yeah. The mobile. Yeah, that's a good possibility. Yeah, and, yeah. and it's it's just it's only just after the uh, yeah because I don't think Gamescom like I was saying to Ross, Gamescoms would have announced stuff before like the Xbox version of Ark, but it's not one where they've often they've gone. Like I don't remember them ever visiting Europe to Gamescom, and that's Europe's biggest uh, exhibition. Um, and then right. after that, it's PAX West, <laughs> then obviously Extra Life, then the Game Awards show. Yeah. Um, I'd be a bit rubbish if it's the Game Awards show. We get news that it's been delayed till next year. <laughs> <You know. laughs> they yeah. can't. They can't leave it till then. Perhaps it is. Perhaps it's PAX. Yeah, maybe that's a good yeah. show, Neddy. Yeah. That's a good yeah. show. It is their hometown. They, I know they've been working remote, a lot of them still. But wouldn't it be nice to celebrate new beginnings and all this business and get ready for Arc 2 and have all their team in Seattle for the week and at the event and doing a bit of work together and then releasing the news about this, you know, the animated show and maybe in a bit of glimpse of arc two. Yeah. That's it. Raz clickbait video tomorrow. That's We're doing it. it. We're putting it all, putting it all <laughs> in packs. Did you, yeah. Did you reach out about that at all Raz? Yeah. Cause I'm really curious. Well, speak to the about, devs. Um, PAX West. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Speaking no, because we, we spoke about it a few days ago, didn't we? And uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys want to go, didn't you? If yeah. they if they're going to do something, you're off. I'm there. there. Come on, I totally would. I would be there. I would go. I'd, you know what? I'd go to Seattle with you, Ross. Only because I've got a, a friend in Washington. I'd go and see. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd check out the exhibition as well. Why not? I'd check out the art stuff as well. But yeah, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that one, I guess. But um, like, we're, we're getting close to question time, so chat. If you've got yeah, any any ideas, theories, questions. questions, yeah, post away. Especially for new Neddy. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, obviously, you know, if you don't know who Neddy is, please go and check him out. There's a link in the description, or I've, I've tagged him in the description anyway. I'll and, put it in chat yeah. now as well. There you go. Go and subscribe to Neddy and go and say hello on his video that he's got up right now. Say you've been sent from the podcast. Yeah. Show the love, people. <laughs> but there's like show the love. Surely there is no way because you know he's part of the monarchy. We've done things together, a few exactly. things, good True. things. What's it like working with with the monarchy, Neddy? It's been uh, really fun. They're really um, amazingly nice people, all of them. Um, it, it's been such a joy to be sort uh, right. uh, sort of a part of a, such a big group of people that are all just like playing the game regularly i'm used to working with teams with filming and stuff but it's been a lot of fun I keep getting raided by apex but... <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 that, ah. that's rough man i can't even raid you mate i can't bring myself to do it like you, you, you need to yeah, he doesn't, you haven't got the defenses he, no, up you'll raid anyone Jeez, by that pvp oh. fucking bully it? right <laughs> i don't have this i'll come and fucking <laughs> sort it. him yeah, out on, him, <laughs> fucking i'll sort that him is. out apex you bully i've heard bullies. about you son you need to be taken down a peg or two that's it <laughs> i guess I'll let, I'll let you uh pick on the questions Raz, yeah he's, or, or he's gonna answer any yeah come on let's get some questions what, what people. We got? What let's we get got? some questions uh, uh, will the new animated series be too much spoilers for those who are still new to playing Ark from Empress of Death? Uh, that's going to really just depend on on whether or not they change it a lot. Mm. Um, generally, this whole story for Ark's already out there, so you can't really get spoiled too much. But um, yeah, if you if you watch YouTube, there's no way you don't know the ending of Ark, or yeah. like you've seen the yeah, right? Yeah. Like it's popped up in a billion videos by now. Yeah, it's like one and the same. Uh, question from Neddy the Noodle when will the next story come out oh good question uh, we're aiming for this year um, we're we're getting really close with chapter one uh, at least with the big hurdle that we've been slowly screeching over um, and so I'll share some kind of teaser maybe sort of the first note for it Diana sometime soon oh. um, whenever we get over that hurdle so stay tuned we're working and it's going to be awesome uh, uh, you know what? I want everyone in chat right now, right, to say, right, help Neddy, okay? Just help Neddy. Spam that in chat now. The poor boy has been abused by Kaya, I'm reading now as well. 
<laughs> even 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 Vino's dropped some turrets for him because he felt bad. Come on, oh, right? Vino. I was trying to Help figure out who Neddy. gave me the turret. Thank you, Vino. Help Neddy in chat right now. If you visit his channel, just put Help Neddy in the comment on one of his videos. I didn't okay. even know Kaya rated me. <laughs> oh, help Neddy. Yeah. <laughs> ha hashtag Help Ned. That's that's the one. Yeah. I mean. Spoilers. That's... Spoilers. <laughs> uh, Kaya's now on the hit list. Uh, pass the extinction story to Raz. Yeah, Raz, why don't you make the extinction survival stories for me? Oh, I'm there, mate. <laughs> Hundred percent. That's it. Sign me up. I, I I auditioned for Rockwell, didn't I? Back in the day. Yeah. You just yeah. Uh, you come in for the one line where he's like gurgling after aberration <laughs> crashes, and, and then it. and then you hired a, a full-on David Tennant. In fact, you hired a David Tennant. There was no beating him by, by a long shot. Yeah. The, the, so many people just think it's David Tennant. And some of them don't yeah. even fact check it. They're just like, that he got David Tennant. It sounds Who was so similar. Who's the voice? It's Elliot Crossley. He's actually pretty young. So it's it's kind of amazing he's able to do such a such a good sort of nasally impression. That, yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Nice. Yeah. Uh, are, we ex are we expanding Monarchy next season? Will there be an arc to Monarchy? Raz? Neddy? Raz? I'm just... I He's just, debating. He's I'll, debating. He's thinking about it we, now. Do I really want to work with these bozos any longer? I, I, all I say is, yeah, that plots are being developed, storylines are being discussed. You'll have to wait and see. I won't be joining the monkey people. I, I don't play Ark enough. He's too good um, for us. I, yeah, I don't enjoy it enough either. <laughs> to be fair, to be brutally honest, like I've stopped even playing. I, I liked, I liked Ragnarok. I've enjoyed it. I doubt I'm going to be streaming it anymore. Like, I need to just, I don't know, I need to find, I, you know what, I'm ready for Ark 2. Are you, I am are you, so ready. There? Damn. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm ready. ready. I, I, don't want to play, I don't want to play first person Ark anymore. I don't want to go around the, the maps that are all beautiful, but they're still all kind of just regurgitated. Like, I don't want to see the same dinosaurs with the same low animations and bad AI. I want something brand new and fresh. And I think Arc 2 could deliver it. I really am starting to believe oh, Arc damn. 2 could be something just just new and big and fresh. Well, I do uh, I, I, I do disagree with you a little bit about yes. the, the bad quality. I am <laughs> absolutely excited for Arc 2 to mm. the point where people are like, why do you why are you so excited? But I'm ready to move on, man. After after I'm done telling this last story in the trilogy of the survival stories, I am done with Arg One. Uh, full speed ahead, man. I, I think I'm so ready. To move on. I think you're gonna be waiting yeah. a while yet, though. This is still good. Yeah, I know. I know. It could be I, a year. <laughs> what we're working on is gonna take, you know, to finish the whole thing. It's gonna take probably almost about that long, anyway. So by the end. Uh, right. And what was got cut there? What to we want to be optimized now? Nah, and uh, boring questions. Come on, guys, we answer that every other time. Yeah, we know art two would be better optimized, probably, hopefully, maybe. Who knows? Uh, Neddy, what's your favorite part of making survival stories? Uh, really, uh, probably working with the voice actors, but also most of the time is spent working with my team. So and, and so much of it is so much fun and we have hard times, but also hilarious things happen. So probably my favorite parts are just uh, when something goes horribly wrong in the bloopers and someone like dies unexpectedly or does some weird animation while we're trying to do like a really serious scene. Uh, just the bloopers, I think. Is there, do you make videos out of the bloopers? Does that ever get to like a season, end of season stuff? I have before. Um, yeah. Might put it all into some aberration bloopers uh, one by the end, but oh, 100% there. do it, mate. Uh, it, it's fun to see at the end the, the uh, on the ones you have done those bloopers. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I mean, working on this, we're, we're not just stone cold like tunnel vision. We're there's a lot of humor uh, sort of involved in the team and silly things and little Easter eggs, so. <laughs> yeah. Sounds great. I, do, I, I actually, I do got like it's nice having a little crew. I do miss that about Ark. Like when I was back playing it more regularly, and I had my little rat bags playing with me and stuff. It is better. It's such a better Ooh. game playing it with other people. Oh, one hundred percent, absolutely. It is. Um, yeah. So no, I'm only like partially joking. I just don't have time. I really don't. Like I've got a job, two channels to run. I'd love to join Raz, and I am also a bit of a knob. 
I will just end up causing some <laughs> argument. I will actually cause you a row with I Apex. I can see hundred percent. I, I will, you know, I will, I, or someone else. Like, yeah, I just, yeah. you know, my, 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 I've got a little dog syndrome. <laughs> You know, the tiny little yappy dogs that think they're bigger than everyone. <laughs> Got to just have a row of everyone. That, that's me. I just won't be able to contain it. Yeah. And I am I, a salty I, motherfucker. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Like, even like PvP wise, every time I've played a PvP game, oh my God. Yeah, I will get. I will oh, get but that's the really though. Salty. Like, I think it's only natural in any competition and in ARC, you know, you get raided. You do get annoyed and angry. You can't mm. help it. Some people manage to lock that down. Some people just, you know, show their... Unless you're Neddy, it's just like, ah, oh, <laughs> I'm just chill, whatever. I don't even know who's raided me. I'm not going to care. Yeah, yeah I, I just get on. I'm like, have my bases missing. I'm like, oh, okay. Just move <laughs> on. <I'm> like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I used to get real, real mad when I was uh, when I was a kid early on in like a fizzle yeah. I used to play. I was I got so salty, but now it's I'm too jaded. Hey, hey, hey. That's it. That's that's the one, mate. Um, Ned is the reason Scorched Earth was delayed because it will show Rockwell destroying a full map and turn it into a desert. Rockwell comes back as a new thing from Anonymous Ollie. That is a that's a tin foil hat. Woof. Like I did, eh, mate. Yeah. I like it. Carry on. I want more of them. Um, that I'm, no, I don't think I can answer that. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> knows. Neddy knows. No. You know, if one last question for you, Neddy, from me. If if Wild Cards were to hit you up tomorrow and say, "Hey, we're looking for like a, a story uh, or lore or, or explorer notes intern. Do you want to come and work with us for six months and see how it goes? Would, would you Would you do it? Absolutely. I. I've thought about that, but I, I've realized that there isn't a, a position. What we do is sort of a miscellaneous thing, almost. As much as it's fun and it's epic and it's great and it's storytelling and all that, but I don't know that there's a particular position at Wildcard that would suit what I'm doing. Not to say I'm above that, but to say I'm, you know. Well, you never I don't know, know like, what it would never translate know, yeah. to. I, I you could, I mean, who, what maybe you could help out with actual law, like social media, like that's yeah, a big part like, of these big companies. Yeah, look, look at um, like, you know, if he's doing TikToks and Twitter posts for the Arc Two account about all the law that's coming into the new game, and so yeah, brush up your CV, mate. Give it, give it. Obviously, they know your YouTube work, but put it down stage by stage what you can do what you can offer and, and send it into them you never know well, they do they might have, yeah like, something else love to for arc 2 i mean that sounds like a dream job to to work with their story to get their story out there yeah. and to do anything to elevate it so i could um, even involve you with their filming team i'm sure their filming team might grow a little bit from what they're doing at the moment there's only a couple of them that really do it now the trailers I'd, I'd imagine with Arc 1, they use body actors, but I'd imagine with Arc 2, they're going to be using scripted sequences where they don't actually have body actors anymore. True. Sure. Pre-animated. Oh, I kind of hope not. But that's the best part about the art trailers. That's what I like, yeah. that You yeah. can really tell they're people that are controlling them. That's what we love about the survival stories. Yeah. But, Absolutely. But yeah, don't forget that you've got like games that do have um, law, law, like, law experts as a role. People who have to manage yeah, like the law. story. There's yeah. there's twenty positions that go into like a, a genuine story, whether it's like just a storyboard consultant, like then the law. Then yeah. you've got like you know uh, assistant and associate um, writer. You never know that stuff. Even yeah. if it just meant you was getting the coffees for them for the first few months, just to get in there and get that experience, and then put some ideas across. I'm not saying they they do it, but you, you won't know till you try. And he, who knows? Like if they had another opportunity, you could go work from QA or just get a bit closer to the game, the mechanics of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. I, I would love to be part of it. So I might just, uh, might just do it. Sort of, do it. Yeah, might just do that. But send something out there. There we are. But for right now, you can go and check out Ned and what he's been working on on his channel. Again, I've, I've linked him in the, in, chat in the description. Well. Jad had put it in the, in the uh, chat, yeah. And I think that's it's time to wrap up. The hour has Please. passed. The clock has almost yeah. uh, strung, strung, struck. So uh, just, yeah, a big, big thank you for you jumping on today, Ned. Talking all things. Thank all. you. D I feel so like I've learned. Thank you for having me. Oh, more than welcome, mate. I feel like I've learned a lot. Do you, Jade? 
Oh yeah, tons, absolute tons. No, I do. Oh, I'm I'm more intrigued now. I think I might have to go and try and binge watch some of Neddy's law videos while I'm editing in the background. Do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> they they are they were so fun to make, and I hope people like watching them. So. Good. Yeah. No, it's great having you, mate. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And that's it. That's that's it from. Uh, hang on. And that's it <laughs> from uh, me and Jade. Gone again. Am I uh, back? Yeah, just about. I, I, this week, no, I'm, no, I'm, no, what you uh, to. I'm doing two channels yeah. work, and I'm doing my community managers work for my new game, Hostile Mars. Going to put a plug in there. Go and look it up if you want a automation and base building and shooting robots in the face. Look it up on Steam, Hostile Mars. That's what I'm working on at the moment as a community manager. And I'm deep into Grounded, and I'm looking forward to Tribes of Midgard coming out in August. Great, great game and stuff. Uh, and that's awesome. it, Raz. Just still doing right. You are. No, everyone, Raz was actually in hospital earlier this week. Yeah. I don't know if you all know. <laughs> I don't know if he actually is actually seriously said and stuff. No. Um, so a big, big thank you to Raz for doing this tonight because I know he's still been recovering and getting yeah, behind cheers, stuff and, and picking stuff up. But yeah. he, he he put his, his big boy boots on to turn up today and, and carry on. So, <laughs> yeah, make sure you leave a like, seriously. Yeah, bless you. And, um, right, yeah, he's, he's, he was literally not in a good way. And it wasn't the hangover from me and him getting smashed. Oh, it definitely wasn't. <laughs> It was it, genuine sickness. So, it was yeah, on another level. Like, and, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, that's it, yeah. Um, yeah, thanks for all for tuning in. I'm, I'm going to go and try and fix my camera now. <laughs> and uh, until next week, we're back on Jay's channel. What are we chatting about next week, Jade? Two weeks from now, we are probably going to be looking at tribes in Midgard and the different okay. types of survival games. The yeah. survival games that aren't just first-person or third person sort of survival the unique little indie ones that i like championing so you are going to be clueless and i'm going to educate you even more awesome and the week after we're gonna have mod dot io on for an interview oh yes yeah yeah the it's guys the who future. yeah who may who are making the mods for art too so yeah didn't mods. know that our, our, what yeah very mods on console these are the guys that design the technology that there will be playable mods on mm -hmm. Arc 2 on an Xbox or a PlayStation in the future. So, yeah, watch out for that. And without further ado, before my camera freezes again, that's Ned, that's Jade, my name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, oh, big salsa.